Good, after, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mustache. And I'm Scott. And together we are Backyard Musings, Apple Valley, California. And we, and we are the California. Science and Technology Channel, even though our technology this morning is a little, uh, a little haphazard, it seems like. But that's okay. We're good. We're frozen. You're frozen. Are you frozen? Huh? Hello? This segment is doing, but bear with us. You're, Teleportation you're isn't just science fiction anymore. Scientists have found a way to send information more clearly and efficiently than ever before. And I, we kind of predicted this earlier this year, like in January, um, okay. that this would be possible maybe late last year. Okay. Are you, are you uh, be using an incredibly tiny material called a nanophotonic platform, researchers dramatically improved how well quantum information can travel, even with just single particles of light. This breakthrough means teleportation could one day be part of real-world communication networks, opening the door to a future where information zips through space in ways once thought impossible. The research was published on April 27th, 22nd, 2025 in physical review letters would you like to know more hey so got a question if if this were happening tomorrow and they said we're looking for volunteers to be teleported from here to new york city would you would you volunteer no <laughs> okay they got to do a mouse first that's why we have mice they got to do a mouse so you're gonna do a mouse, then you're gonna maybe do a beagle, right? A mouse, then a beagle, and then maybe a small child, and then me. Okay, all right, there we go. You've heard it here first. For years, researchers have known that using nonlinear optical processes could make quantum communication systems more reliable <laughs> and resistant to certain types of errors. But earlier attempts struggled because these systems couldn't operate extremely low uh, at the extremely low light levels needed for true quantum communication now a team at the university of illinois urbana champaign has made a major breakthrough <clears throat> they built their nonlinear system using an indium gallium phosphide nanophotonic platform say that fast three times in a row yeah. what significantly boosting efficiency their approach works with much less light, even down to sing single photons, the smallest units of light, offering the first real path to practical quantum communication with nonlinear optics. Okay, this is a quote. Uh, our nonlinear systems transmit quantum information with 94% fidelity compared to the, the theoretical limit of 33% on systems using linear optical components and this is said by kj fang a an illinois professor of electrical and computer engineering and the project lead to go on with a quote this alone demonstrates the power of quantum communication with nonlinear optics the big problem to solve is efficiency by using a nano photonic platform we saw the efficiency increase by enough to show the technology is promising so what does that mean you're going to transport something and the only thing that's going to show up or everything is going to show up except now you don't have any hair on your head well if if they can guarantee that that six percent loss is the fat around my midsection then i'm i'm all, I'm, I'm in for it you're i'll in. do it okay okay another first you heard it here first <laughs> Transmission of quantum information over networks is facilitated by the quantum teleportation protocol. In it, the phenomenon of the, the phenomenon of quantum entanglement in which two quantum objects, typically single photons, influence each other even when there is no apparent physical connection between them. It's exploited to transfer quantum information between a sender and a receiver without transmitting it through a communication channel. The advantage of this procedure is that the influences of external noise and channel imperfections are greatly mitigated. Okay. 
Uh, there are two factors that limit the performance of quantum teleportation. First, the use of standard linear optical components introduces inherent ambiguities. Ambiguities? Ambiguities. And I did that. I, I used. To, I did that word once before. Why do you throw that word in? It's subject? probably the British pronunciation. Ambiguities. Ambiguities in the transmission. Second, the entangled photons are made with an imperfect process subject <clears throat> to errors and excess noise. Uh, in particular, it is common for entanglement sources to produce more than a single pair of photons at once, making it unclear whether the, the two used in teleportation are truly entangled. So here's a quote for you. Multi-photon noise occurs in all realistic entanglement sources. And it's a serious problem for quantum networks, said Elizabeth Goldschmidt, an Illinois professor of physics and co-author of the study. Quote, the appeal of nonlinear optics is that it can mitigate the effect of multi-photon noise by virtue of underlying physics, making it possible to work with imperfect entanglement sources. Nonlinear optical components cause photons of different frequencies to combine and create new photons at new frequencies. For quantum teleportation, the nonlinear process used is some frequency generation, or SFG, in which the two the frequencies of two photons add a form uh, add to form a new photon. However, the original two photons must have specific starting frequencies for the process to occur. Huh. Okay. Interesting. When SFG is used in quantum teleportation, the protocol does not need, does not proceed if two protons of the same frequency are detected. This filters out the primary type of noise in most entangled photon sources and allows for much higher teleportation fidelities than would be possible otherwise. The main drawback is that an SFG conversion occurs with very low probability, making the teleportation process highly inefficient. Okay, this is another quote. Uh, researchers have known about this for a long time, but it was not fully explored due to the low probability of uh, successful SFG, uh, according to Fang. In the, in the past, the best that was achieved is 1 in 100 million. That's the lottery right there. Yeah. Uh, our achievement is realizing a factor of 10,000 increase in conversion efficiency to one in 10,000 with a nano photonic platform. So nano a, being very small, right? Photon. Yeah, very like, small. Nano. So that's a big improvement, but still one in 10,000. That's, you know, you might forget an eyeball when you're getting teleported. Or you might well, lose one. Man, what, what's going to get left behind? What, what can Either you left behind to... or lost somewhere in transit. Yeah, I don't know. That's you I... could end up in the buffering coils for a hundred years, like Scotty from uh, gonna... Star Trek. Are we going to be able to to uh, teleport a maybe a piece of like a two by four before we can teleport a mouse? Just probably sure. something. Yeah, something non organic has to go first, definitely. Yeah before yeah. you even start messing around with organics. And then um, it might be a plant that's not quite breathing, but it's organic, you know? Yeah, or Gavin Newsom. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Maybe Gavin Newsom or uh, or Nancy Pelosi. Don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Okay. All right, all right. The researchers are optimistic that with further development, quantum teleportation with nonlinear optical components can be made even more efficient. They believe that it will find use in other quantum communication protocols, including entanglement swapping. That I'm, I'm, maybe we should do a segment on entanglement swapping. It sounds fascinating. Yeah, I, I don't have any idea what that is, but this this uh, this is coming. I mean, people are trying on this stuff. They're working on it. So, you know, my lifetime, I don't know, but maybe in my grandkids' lifetime, I would think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Teleport to the moon. Shoot you to the moon, man. As long well, as you have even sight, if you got, line of sight. Yeah, if you got teleported to Europe or you got teleported to, you know, wherever. I mean, that's just the moon. Yeah, that would be cool. But that's a lot of, that's a lot of space. The last yeah. one, too. 
Okay. Final frontier. <laughs> All right. Thanks, folks, for joining us. Catch us in the morning. Take care, everyone. Thanks.